Good morning, my lovely students, and welcome back to the second lesson of science. Our today's topic is changing shape. We will continue with the same topic. We will refer to your page 213 in your science book. Okay, so the value of the month this month is courage, which means to do the right thing, even if it's difficult time. And the theme this week is student lesson structure. Let's have a look what are you going to learn in this lesson today. You are going to identify the material that will stretch the most and the materials that will stretch the least. And you're going to order materials according to their stretchiness. Here are your keywords. On number one, we have the word bend. Number two, squash. Number three, stretch and number four twist moving on here these are your textbook pages two and three you may refer to these let's brainstorm what do you see here in the picture of course it's a ball but what's the material this ball is made from right it's a rubber well done so what do you think where do we get rubber from very good. We get it from tree, rubber tree. Can you name some properties of this rubber ball? You can pause here the video and take your time. Okay, so let's talk about the properties. It can be bouncy. And what else? Rubber have lots of properties. They are stretchy and a lot more elasticity. You can sometimes bend the rubber material. So you can bend, twist them. Of course, you cannot twist the ball and bend it. Yes. But different materials made of rubber, you can do that. So that's what we are going to do. Today, we're going to twist out lots of properties of rubber. So what other things you think are made of rubber? Name them. Look at the picture, learners. People use elastic bungee cords to jump off high buildings and bridges it's a fun sport so the connection the thing that keeps them safe connected to their base is that bungee cord and it's made of what do you think rubber yes you're right then have you ever tried blowing a balloon of course so what happens if you blow too much air into the balloon of course it's gonna pop that's right Look at this. Gymnasts have a special kind of clothing that really stretches and it helps them to move freely. So look at all of these pictures and think what's happening here. What is that material that's used in all of these pictures? Yes, you're right. All of these materials have similar property that is stretchiness. These materials, clothes, balloon, them stretch. Here we have some other properties and materials. Here in the first picture you can see a plastic food wrap. You must have seen this in your kitchen. Your mommy uses to wrap the food to keep it from drying out. And here if you look at this big giant ball, this is the world's largest, biggest ever elastic band Ball. It weighs up to two rhinos. So people made these out of right rubber. Very good. Now you're getting it. So all these materials are designed to stretch. Do you know any other materials that are stretchy? Go come up with your. Let's test these out. I want you to try to stretch them, twist, bend, and do whatever you like. Play around with them. And then, once you're done, arrange them from the most stretchiness to the least. Here is your challenge. We have different kinds for uh, types of cards for each of you. You can pick your card and answer. 
Name any object made of rubber. That's the gummy bear card. The second card, chocolate chip says, name an object made of rubber and its property. And then the last card, marshmallow says, name five properties of rubber. So we did talk about a lot of them. You can pause here and choose which card you would like to answer. Here is a link for you. I want you to log into your Active Learn and try to work on this interactive board. You have here pictures below. So you're going to drag and drop them from most stretchiness to least stretchy. What you're going to do, if you have these items around you in your home, you can even check these out and then do it. All right. Have fun doing it. Let's talk about what did you learn? So, can you identify the number that will stretch? Oh, sorry. Can you identify the material that will stretch the most and material that will stretch the least? And then, can you order materials according to their stretchiness? Pick your number, learners, and... Tell me what you understand. If you have any problems, do discuss with me in the next lesson. Have fun stretching around things and see you in the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum.